Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode of my modeling adventures, I present you my M4A3 Sherman 105mm Howinger from Tamiya in 135th scale in kit number 35251. This kit from Tamiya is a rebox with some updated and some new parts released back in 2002. The kit consists from 9 pl plastic sprues, one sheet of water slide decals and a pair of vinyl tracks. So after building this kit I have to tell you that I am amazed by it. The kit overall is great, everything goes together so easy without facing the slightest issue at all. The parts are crisp, clean and pretty detailed. I find the quality of the decal of the decals to be pretty good. Also this kit provides you with many options. You can build both the early and the late type variant of this vehicle and you can build it with all the hatches opened or closed. In addition to that inside the box you can find plenty of figures for the tank crew and three more for infantry. My personal choice about this tank was to build it as an early variant with all the hatches opened and with the winter camouflage as found in the instruction sheet. I kept intact the infantry figures because in the future I'm planning to pose the particular tank in a small diorama. I have done the winter camo using the hairspray technique. I know that it is far from perfect, but considering that, I was the f that it was the first time I have done it, I'm quite happy with the result. That was everything that I have to say about this kit. In conclusion, I recommend it to every type of modeler, although it may be a bit time consuming because of the details but it is a huge value for money and has a great potential as, either as a tank or as a small diorama. As always fellow modelers, if you have found this video helpful or interesting at all, don't forget to leave a like or write a comment expressing your opinion about this build. If you want to see more builds and help my channel grow, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification button so you, do, so you won't miss any of my new adventures on model building. Lastly, if you want a brief history about this tank and the paints that I have used, please check the description below. I want to thank you all for watching, seeing you on my next building adventure. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon, rapping to the beat.